Slam that like button if you love cookies. In this video, oh, the first day of school and I had to have braces. Ugh, my dentist is the worst. Who sends a kid to school on the first day with braces? Could, this is my locker. Yo, um, you're using my locker? Beat it, brace face. <gasps> hey, you rude. I don't know what your name is, but but you're rude. Oh, I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. I only sunshine. Um, Laura, I don't think we're gonna do Screamo Band this year. How about your nicest singing voice? Whoa, <laughs> that was epic. I mean, but also you're totally terrible. Yeah, that's it. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Dude, do you like Laura? What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I don't like Laura. She's so annoying. Hey, Luke. You wanted to meet me here? Yeah, Molly. I have to talk to you about something. I'm kind of nervous about it. <laughs> um, it's okay. Um... Just talk to me about it. We're boyfriend girlfriend, so you know Aww. you can talk to me about anything. Yeah, but I'm a little afraid that you're gonna like freak out. <laughs> well, uh, I I know you've been wanting to ask me something, right? Um. Uh. Well. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna Snapchat this moment because I just feel like it's gonna be really important to my life. Oh, uh, Molly, I don't know if we should Snapchat this. No, we should definitely Snapchat it. Chat it. Say, say hi to everybody, Luke. Um, uh, hi. Here it goes, Molly. Yes, yes, I'll go to prom with you. I can't wait. Um, no, no, I wasn't about to ask you to prom. Wait, what? You should probably turn off that Snapchat now, Molly. You don't want everyone in, in town to know I'm breaking up with you. Wait, what? You're breaking up with me? Why? Look, Molly, I just think, like, we're two very different people, and we were better as friends than as boyfriend-girlfriend. <gasps> I thought we were great as boyfriend-girlfriend. I mean, I've had a crush on you since preschool. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Sorry, Molly, I've got to get going. I've got a lot of homework to do. I'm sorry if this had upset you. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll see you at school, okay, Molly? What? I, what just happened? Oh my god, my boyfriend just broke up with me! Okay, honey, um, let's Snapchat us making dinner together. It'll be so adorable. Oh, that's so sweet, honey! Yeah, sure! Would you like to chop the vegetables? And I'll, um, make the chicken. Ah! Sounds delicious. <laughs> my life is Detention again. That's why she's late. Mommy, what's wrong, honey? What's going on? I have a ruined life. Wait, what? What's wrong, sweetie? Tell Dad about it. Yeah, you can talk to us about anything, Molly. What's what's happening? Luke, he 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 didn't ask you to the prom yet, did he? <gasps> Be quiet, Daisy. You're being super annoying. <laughs> honey. What's wrong? Tell me what happened. He he broke up with me. What? Oh, how did this happen? He broke my sweet girl's heart. Oh, that makes me super. Well, honey, chill out. They're just kids. I know, but it's my baby's heart and it's broken. Well, maybe he shouldn't come hang out here anymore if he's going to be rude. Honey, he's allowed to, you know, well, not be boyfriend and girlfriend with mom. <gasps> okay, well, why did he say? He said we're just two different people and, and... Well, Luke is a very nice boy, Molly. Maybe he's right. Maybe you guys could find new boyfriends and girlfriend. I don't want another boyfriend. He's the best boyfriend. <laughs> Sounds to me like he doesn't even know what he's missing out on. You're fabulous, Molly. Don't let anybody tell you different. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Did you guys ever break up when you were dating? <laughs> Your dad and I, well, we actually hated each other. What? Wait, what? What? I never heard this story. 
Yep, it's true. Your dad and I did not like each other at all. Who would have thought we'd be making chicken and veggies for dinner together? <laughs> yep, we didn't get along at all. We d totally did not. Ugh, the first day of school and I had to have braces? Ugh, my dentist is the worst. Who sends a kid to school on the first day with braces? Ooh. He couldn't have waited till like, I don't know, six weeks into class? Ay -ay -ay. Okay, this is, this, is my, this is my locker. Yo, um, you're using my locker? What? No. Uh, I got a paper in the mail from the school and it had this locker number on it. Well, the paper in the mail said this was my locker, so beat it, brace face. <gasps> hey, you rude! I don't know what your name is, but, but you're rude. Oh, I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. Now give me my locker. You are ugh, so annoying. This is my locker. Fine, you can use my locker for now, but I'll be back to claim it later. Uh, whatever. That guy is so annoying. I hope he's not in any of my classes with me. Mrs. Avery, I'm here with my microphone. I think I should definitely be the lead singer of our music band. What? No, I'm here with my microphone and I should be the lead singer of the music band. What? You're not a good singer. How do you know? You didn't even know my name before today. Well, okay, fine, but I'm the best singer in school. Everyone knows it. Um, whatever. I'm going to be the year's best singer. Okay, okay, I can see you two are going to fight over this. Let's have an audition, please. Audition? Um, I don't know. I get kind of nervous with tests. Perfect. That means I'm going to be the singer. I don't think so, Dan. Really, Laura? I think so. <laughs> Let's see your awful audition. You first! Alright, no problem. You two can each sing You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Oh, crap! You were really good! <laughs> Try to beat that audition. Brace face. Okay, well I get a little nervous. Um, but here goes nothing. You are my sunshine! My only sunshine! Um, Laura, I don't think we're gonna do Screamo Band this year. How about your nicest singing voice? Whoa! <laughs> that was epic! I mean, but also, you're totally terrible. Yeah, that's it. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine. Dan, I thought you were the better singer. You're amazing. What are you doing Friday night? Uh, Stephanie, not now. I'm about to find out who is going to be the lead singer of the school band. You both are so amazing. I can't decide. I think this year it would be very special and unique if both of you were the singers. Duet time! <laughs> Me do a duet with her? Brace face? I don't think so. That would be terrible. I don't like her. Well, I don't like you either. And I was definitely the better singer. <laughs> Whatever. You couldn't even come close to how good of a singer I was. Although, your screamo thing was pretty crazy. Wow. Really unexpected. Well, oh, I don't know if that was a compliment, but it just sounded rude. So I'm going to be mad at you for it. Guys, I don't care if you two get along or not. But if you want to pass this class, you're going to have to sing together. Ugh, oh, so lame. Yeah, tell me about it. You're the lamest of the lame. Ooh, pizza, my favorite, but I'm starving. Look at that pizza. Just enough for my crew. Awesome. Hey, that pizza's mine. <laughs> Move out of the way, loser. This pizza's for me and my boys. But, but I'm hungry too. At least leave me one piece, okay, Dan? Don't think so. 
Get something like the rest of the losers, like a cheeseburger or an apple or something. This pizza is ours. Ugh! I hate him! Dude, do you like Laura? What? No. What are you talking about? Well, you just seem like, I don't know, you kind of are giving off like you like her vibes. Dude, don't be ridiculous. Of course I don't like Laura. She's so annoying. Like, I kind of like hate her. Oh my God, really? He's at my locker again. What is wrong with him? Can he not just like read his school letter that said the numbers of his locker on them? I mean, duh. Excuse me, you're at my locker again. What? Is that an annoying little mat flying by my ear? You are infuriating. Why, why are you so rude? Because your face annoys me. Oh, that's it. I'm getting my locker back if it's the last thing I do. So dude, what are you gonna do after school? Whoa, what she got? Is it a squirt gun? Are you gonna spray me with water? Totally gonna spray you with water. Ah, why are you spraying me in the face with water? Ow! It kinda stings, that's so rude. I don't like you. And I don't like you. Not even a little bit. Not even kind of a little bit. I don't like you. I don't, I don't, I don't. With a feelings mutual brace face. So why don't you go to the school dance with me? Okay, I will. What? Wait, what? You guys hated each other. And then just all of a sudden, you guys went to the dance together? That's right. You see, love can be very confusing. That's right. <laughs> I thought I really hated your mom, but turns out I really, really liked her. Yeah, and I really liked your dad. Whoa, I'm never falling in love. This is crazy. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to come to this dance with Dan. I don't even like him. He's like the most annoying boy at school. Why did I decide to come to this dance with him? I mean, he is pretty cute. But he's annoying. I'm just gonna go tell him I don't wanna come to this dance with him anymore. Dan, come out here and dance with me. I think you're so cute. Hey, he's my date. Stay away. Whoa, look at that. They're fighting over you, dude. Well, you don't have to be pushy about it. I mean, you're not even a good dancer, are you, Laura? I'm a great dancer, I think. Hey, Dan. Hey, what's up, Braceface? Um, rude. You could have said you thought I looked pretty or something. Of course you look pretty. I wouldn't have invited you to the dance if not. I'm out of here, dude. This is getting too mushy and lovey-dovey for me. Oh. oh, well, thanks, I guess, for giving me a nice compliment. Well, you're still a Braceface. Why did I even come to this dance with you? You're so annoying. You're annoying, too. I should have gotten the lead. And, and I should be singing, not doing some sort of duet. That's so dumb. Well, I think, I think you're dumb. So you want to dance with me? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> you probably think my dance is like cheesy or something because you always think everything I do is dumb. What are you talking about? I think this is the best dance move ever. <laughs> I guess we do have something in common then. Well, and we're both really into music and we're good singers. Yeah, we have that in common too. And I guess we share a locker. <laughs> Seems the school sent us a letter that said we had the same locker. Yeah, that's totally fate. I mean, it seems like we should be boyfriend and girlfriend. We're already sharing a locker. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Literally, you guys have the weirdest thing ever. Actually, it's not that weird. When you're a teenager, things are just kind of confusing until you learn what love is all about. Yeah. Like putting up with the fact that your dad leaves his toothbrush in the kitchen. How, did you, how do you even do that? Well, I get busy brushing my teeth and then I re remember, oh man, I left, I left my clothes that I need in the dryer. So then I come down to get my clothes out of the dryer and I set my toothbrush down and oopsie. You always get toothpaste all over the sink. Sorry. Ugh, it drives me crazy. I love you, though. Aww. I love you, too. And as you can see, girls, relationships are very confusing. Yeah, tell me about it. No, I don't feel so bad about me and Luke. Marty, maybe, maybe you guys should just be friends for now. And maybe later you'll be like mom and dad and get married and live happily ever after. Maybe you will, Molly. Maybe you will. And then... 
he can leave toothpaste all over your sink. <gasps> what? Well, sometimes you don't... Sometimes... Yeah, what? What is it? What is it? You ate the last piece of pizza! <sighs> well, that's because you ate the last piece of pizza in high school. And I'm forever going to torture you over it. <gasps> <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we are. We sure do love each other. I want to text him. I don't know. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Oh, what if he thinks I'm a dork? What if he doesn't answer? What if he says, leave me alone? You're a loser. Uh-oh. Well, my mom always says, if I don't try, I'll never know. So here goes nothing. What should I say? Hey, Dan. No, that seems so lame. Like, like, like I'm desperate to talk to him. How about just like, hey... And then what do I want to say? I want to say, will you go to the dance with me? But, um, I'm just too afraid to ask it that way. So, um, I guess I'm just going to say, what's up? Did you understand the math homework? Yeah, that seems like totally random. So, uh, it's not like I'm saying like, hey! Let's go to the dance together or anything. I'm just asking about math homework. Yeah. Oh, I'm such a dork. Oh my god. Dot, dot, dot. He's writing back. Who is this? Oh, I thought he knew who it would be. Um, it's Laura? Oh boy. He probably doesn't even know who I am. Dot, dot, dot. He knows who I am. Okay, I think. Or maybe he's gonna be like, leave me alone. Or I'm freaking out about this texting with Dan right now. I have such a huge crush on him. He's so cute. Oh, this is taking forever. What is his reply gonna be? Oh. Laura, oh yeah, that rainbow haired chick from math, sup? Oh, that's a pretty good response. Um. Whoa, look at this cat. <laughs> Grumpy cat. Grumpy cat is perfect. The math homework was so insane. <laughs> At least we're talking. That's a good sign, right? Totally. Anyway? So, yeah. He's not that great at typing. Who cares? I'm so in love. Aww. My partner is ready. See you in class later. I think by this text, it means he's totally going to ask me to the dance. I'm not ever going to sleep tonight. Tomorrow's going to be such a big day. I can just dream about it now. morning already? Uh, well, today is going to be the, one of the best days of my life because Dan's going to ask me to the school dance. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be an amazing day. I'm going to like look so beautiful. I, I just have to like look so great because I'm going <gasps> to... Ah! What's going on with my face? There, there, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pimples ah it looks terrible oh my god what are we gonna do well maybe nobody will notice i mean i'm a teenager we get pimples right oh my god who am i kidding everybody's gonna notice oh well i guess there's no choice but to go to school and i'll just try to put some makeup on yeah that should cover these pimples <laughs> i have some really great makeup from sephora and i just I just, I, I just got to use it on these pimples and everything will be okay. Just put a little here and put a little here, put a little here. Later at school. Why can I not get a signal in this school? It's so annoying. Don't they know I need to put up a snap right now? Come on. <laughs> that TikTok is hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey Dan. Do you have a signal right now? Yeah, I've been watching TikTok videos. These ones are hilarious. Want to see? No, not really. But, um, hey, you going to the dance this Friday? Um, yeah, I think so. I was thinking about this one girl I was going to ask. 
Well, um, if you're gonna ask, you better hurry up. She probably will have five other guys asking her in the next 10 minutes. Whoa, you think so? Yeah, she's really popular. Oh, I didn't think she was that popular. What? Yes, she's that popular. Who are we even talking about right now? Oh, uh, sorry, Bunny, but I gotta get going. <laughs> it's time for class. Yeah, okay. See you later, Dan. Bye! Hey, Bunny. I brought you your favorite from Starbucks like I always do. Ah, oh, you forgot to put the extra shot of hazelnut in it, Tiffany. God, can you do anything right? What? Bunny, I even paid for this myself. Do you think it's so rude? Oh, I should totally, totally post about this online. What? You better not! Or, or I'm gonna tell everybody your secret about how you farted at the sleepover. <laughs> what? You wouldn't dare! I would. Okay, Laura, don't panic. It's just a couple little pimples. No one's gonna even notice. <laughs> no one! O-M-G! Look who it is! It's Laura and... Oh, what happened to your face? It looks like someone cooked a pizza on it! Um, uh, it's just a couple of pimples. I don't know why it happened. I woke up like this. <laughs> um, can you say, loser? <laughs> Ugh, those are gross. Tiffany, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, Laura. Nothing at all. <laughs> well, we better get to class, Bunny. <laughs> we don't want to have to miss our cheerleading competition. And the t teacher said if we missed another day, uh, we couldn't go. Well, see you later, pizza face. Ugh. Yeah, bye. Oh no, hopefully Dan just doesn't notice. I mean, there's not that many pimples, right? Oh look, I got a new snap. What? What is this? Ugly? Ugh, I can't believe I have to be at school today. This is like the worst day to be here. Why couldn't this happen on a Saturday? Oh, my phone's buzzing. What? Gross? <laughs> Seriously, Tiffany? That was so rude. <laughs> Whatever, Dan. I was just stating the truth. Yeah, Dan. She is a pizza face. Gross. You guys are the meanest ever. What? What did you say to me? I thought you were going to ask me to the dance. Not a chance, Bunny. You're ugly on the inside. And that's a lot worse than having a couple of pimples. I can't believe you said that to me. Oh, you are so rude. <laughs> you wouldn't know the first thing about being nice or rude. Both of you are totally rude. Anyway, I gotta go find Laura. You guys are bullies. Where's Laura? I've looked everywhere for her. <laughs> well, I hear her crying. Well, unless that's the school ghost. That person's creepy. I think that Laura's voice is coming from the janitor's room. I saw once, I think on like TikTok, that you could put just like a tiny bit of bleach on your pimple and then it would burn your face horribly. What am I thinking? Laura, are you in there? Oh, don't look at me. I'm so gross. I have a pizza face. Laura, I don't think you're gross at all. Really? But, but, but. Don't listen to those girls. They're just mean and rude and evil. And I think they're jealous of you because you're so cool. Really? You think that they're just mean and jealous? Yeah. I think you're super cool. And I'm sorry you cried. That made me feel really sad. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Dan. So I was wondering, do you want to go to the school dance with me? Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, it's not very romantic to ask you to go in the janitor's room, but, you know, smells a little bit like, well, an old moldy mop in here, but, you know, this is where you were, so. It's okay. I don't mind that you asked me in the janitor's office. I mean, this is uh, No, I don't think that the title's that official, that he gets his own office or anything. Yeah, true. So, um... So I'll pick you up about 8 o'clock? Sounds great. This is a C event. Bye, Laura. Bye. Whoa. Amazing. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Little Miss Pizza Face. 
You can't keep me down, Bunny. I'm going to the school dance with Dan. And he didn't mind if I had a couple of pimples. He thought I was amazing anyway. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He told me that he just feels sorry for you. No one else would ever ask you to the dance. <gasps> Wait, what? Yeah, it's true. He's just feeling like you're a total charity case. So he invited you to the dance. Oh, I can't believe it. The worst day turned into the best day turned into an even worse day. Well, sorry I had to be the bearer of bad news, Laura, but I am a truth teller, so, you know, have fun with your pizza face. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I know what I could do. If I don't have pizza face and I show up at the school dance, then he'll have to think that I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Yeah, watch me transform to, uh, from ugly to model. Hopefully this salon can help me look like a model. That way Dan will think that I'm the prettiest girl and the most amazing girl at the dance. They got really good reviews, so here goes nothing. Oh, hi, how can I help you today? Isn't it obvious? Look at my face. What? What's wrong with your face, honey? It's ugly. What? Your face isn't ugly? Who told you that? Please tell me that you're not saying that to yourself. That's not very nice self-talk. Well, it's true. These mean girls at school told me that I was ugly. Pizza face, even. Pfft. Well, obviously, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> the only person I see in front of me is someone that is totally beautiful, gorgeous, model-like, all on her own. What? Are you crazy? Do you need glasses? <laughs> I have pimples all over. So? Pimples don't make you pretty or ugly. You seem like a pretty nice person to me, too. I'd be happy to do your makeup for the dance, but I'm not going to make you into a supermodel. Girl, you already are. But can you cover up these pimples? Sure I can. Those are so easy to cover. They taught us all about it at beauty school. Come on, come sit in my chair. Okay. Oops, I'm not supposed to be sitting down. For some reason, I thought it was break time. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's see what we can do about those, well, little beauty spots. They're not beauty spots, they're pimples! Yeah, but everybody gets them when they're a teenager. It's totally fine. Now, let's just put a little makeup here, a little makeup here, a little makeup here. Voila, Cinderella, you're ready for the ball. You covered them up perfectly! Thank you, Megan! Yes, you're welcome. But remember, you're beautiful no matter what, supermodel. Don't listen to those mean girls. They don't deserve your attention. Don't let them get in your head, okay? Thank you so much. You're the best salon in the whole world. Well, maybe not in the whole world, but at least in Roblox. Oh my gosh, I feel so cute right now. <laughs> this is so adorable. I'm gonna give myself like a little dog face. <laughs> I'm gonna have the best night of my life. Hey, Laura, what you doing? Oh, hey, Dan. I thought I was gonna pick you up from your house. Oh, um, yeah, I just got done at the salon and stuff, so I guess we could just walk to the dance together. Wow, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. You look really handsome. Thanks. I hope we have fun at the dance together. I'm sure that we will. I'm sorry those girls were so mean to you earlier. I, I... I hope that you didn't just ask me to this dance because, well, you didn't want me to go alone and you felt sorry for me. Wait, what? Who told you that? I've liked you for like two months now. Really? Yeah, I didn't know if you liked me back, so I didn't say anything. But then when you sent me that text, like out of nowhere, I was like, wait, I think she might actually like me. <laughs> You're right. I do like you. I first noticed you in math class. You were really funny. Aw, thanks. Come on, let's go to the dance. Sounds good. Well, I see that Bunny brought her daddy's Bentley to the to the party. Yeah, of course she did. She's spoiled rotten. She totally is. Wow, this dance is going to be so amazing. Well, look who it is. It's Pizza Face. Except for my face isn't pizza. 
It's perfect. Well, not perfect, but pretty close to it. I look amazing, and nothing you say to me is gonna make me feel bad about myself ever again, Bunny and Tiffany. You guys are just rude bullies. And besides, I have the cutest boy here ever as my date, so who are the losers now? Well, he was gonna ask me, but he felt sorry for you. <gasps> Whatever. I'm not even gonna talk to them. Come on, Dan, let's dance. Oh, I love this song. Whoa, what is he doing? Well, are you gonna dance or not? I mean, I know my dancing's a little weird, but I think you should dance with me. <laughs> are you laughing at my dancing? No, I'm laughing at the fact that you think that you're a better dancer than me. Obviously not! Look at me! I'm the world's best dancer! I'm having the time of my life, Dan! I am too! Hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah. Sure I do! Hey, Bunny! Hey, Tiffany! You want to put out a Snapchat of Dan asking me to be his girlfriend while I do this crazy awesome dance? Ew, get away from us. No problem. <laughs>
I really don't think she has any desire to eat dinner. She just, actually, she doesn't feel good. Oh, her tummy really hurts. Oh, honey, I'm gonna go get you some medicine, okay? And you can drink some Pepto-Bismol. Maybe it'll make your tummy feel better. I don't wanna take medicine. I don't like medicine! Okay, honey, here's some Pepto-Bismol. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it! Molly, come on. Be brave. Take deep breath. You can do this. Come on, Molly. You can take the medicine. It's okay. <laughs> I don't want it. I'm afraid. It's going to taste yucky. I'll give you a um, prize. Do we actually have a prize? Oh, no. I'll have to look around and see if I have a toy or something that we forgot to give her for her birthday. <laughs> Just take the medicine, honey. Your tummy really hurts. Ew, it tastes gross. I know it tastes gross. Hey, look it. Look what I've got. I took my medicine so I get that cute little monkey, right? That's right, sweetheart. Oh, Here you go, honey. You can have the monkey. Thank you, Daddy. It's really cute. Oh, no. With the monkey, my tummy doesn't feel so good. Uh-oh, honey. Do you need the pukey bucket? I need Mr. Bucket! I need Mr. Bucket! I need Mr. Bucket! Uh-oh, he can't throw up. <laughs> Oh boy, looks like somebody might have the stomach bug. Oh no, if she's got the stomach bug, it means we're all gonna get the stomach bug. Not me, I'm not gonna get it. Oh my god, my tongue queen! Oh man, she must have a fever, she's got it really bad. Well, I just gave her the medicine, so hopefully some of it stayed down there before she threw up. Don't worry, Molly. Pepto-Bismol always makes me want to throw up, too. It tastes terrible. I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to throw up my taco. Ew, gross. That's so disgusting. Ugh, oh, man. I can't even move off the couch right now. Tommy hurts so bad. Oh, my gosh. They both have the stomach bug, Laura. We're doomed. What are you wearing? I'm getting my hazmat suit and uh, my face mask and uh, um, uh, I need to get some hand sanitizer. Oh, honey, I think we're probably going to get the stomach bug too. You know how that germs happen. The stomach bug is relentless. And we only have one bathroom! Ah! Wow, Mavi, I never thought we'd be so sick that we'd match the couch. I know, we're so sick we turned green. Oh, I have to try to make it to the toilet. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, I didn't make it. Oh, I gotta change my clothes again. I hope you hurry up in there, Dan. I, I need to throw up. I need to use the bathroom. I got go potty. Me too. Why do we have a house that only has one bathroom? <clears throat> Oh no! Oh! My turn! I have to go potty next! I'm not gonna wait either. I have to go so bad. Wait, where's the potty? There it is. I forgot for a minute. It's because I'm so weak from having the stomach bug. Oh! I just, I just throw up in the shower, I guess, you know. Cause... Girls, can you hurry up? I need to use the potty again! I'm not done in here! Oh man! I think I'm gonna throw up in the sink. Oh! Are you girls almost done? I have to go to the bathroom. No, never mind. Too late. And that's why we saved up to buy a bigger house. We needed more than one bathroom. Holy guacamole! That sounds awful. Yeah, this house was really expensive. Brookhaven is well, very expensive to live in, and so we did the best we could. But rest assured. If you ever have to go potty because you have the stomach bug, there's more than one bathroom. <laughs> yeah, too bad there's not more than one bedroom for me and Daisy. But I'm thankful and grateful that you guys bought us such a nice house to live in. I guess I am pretty lucky. Aw, thanks for saying that, Molly. Well, I better get started on dinner. Dinner? What are we having? Are we having tacos? I never want to look at another taco again after that day. Me either. I love tacos. I know, but your father and I can only have tacos like once a month. Every time we think about them, it's like, oh, I'm reliving that throwing up thing all over again. Anyway, we're having nice, healthy, delicious salads. Oh, salad. 
Oh no, honey, what's wrong? Are, are you getting the stomach bug again? No, I just can't stand the thought of another salad. Oh, oh I'm with Molly. I'm having a hot dog. See, dad's eating a hot dog. Well, I gotta eat salad. I don't wanna eat salad. Dan, we're setting a good example for the girls. Stop eating the hot dog. You're not the boss of me. I can eat a hot dog if I want to, unless you can catch me. Oh, wow. So grown up of him, huh? Yeah, well, you just can't make your father eat healthy. You just can't. <laughs>
Is that window broken? Oh my god! Baby Kira ran away! Molly! Daisy! I need your help! Mom, if you need my help doing more chores, I'm off duty. Ugh, I'm so tired. Just need to watch this adorable puppy and relax. And maybe eat an extra piece of pizza. Mmm, pizza. Molly, help, help, help. What, what are you freaking out about, Mom? What's wrong? Baby Kira, she, 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 she ran away. What? She, she ran away? Yes. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to call 911 and you and your sister should go look for her. Okay, I'll get right on that as soon as I finish my pizza. Molly, no! Okay, I'll take my pizza to go. Baby Kira, baby Kira, where are you? I'm flitting away for Wilfo. I don't need this. I need to do my I'm a big girl. Baby Kira, baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira! Well, maybe she got a hotel room. Wait a minute, how would she do that? She, she doesn't have any money. <gasps> maybe she stole mom's credit card. I should go in and ask the person behind the desk. Hello? Is anybody here? Apparently, they're sleeping in one of the rooms because they're tired. <laughs> I'll just log in myself and see if she's checked in. Baby Kira. Okay, she didn't check into the motel. Hmm. She's sitting in the diner? <laughs> Good thing I ate that pizza because I'm doing a lot of running around. No, she's not in the diner. Baby Kira, where are you? We miss you so much. Wait a minute, if I was Baby Kira, where would I go? The ice cream shop. Although I think they're closed right now because it's already like 7.30 at night. No, no, Baby Kira, but they left the doors open. So I think I need a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm. Huh, why is my phone ringing? Hello? <laughs> Molly, are you at the ice cream shop right now? Um, uh, uh... How did you know that, Mom? Because I just had an idea that you'd have to stop for a snack. Your sister is more important than mint chocolate chip, right? Uh, yeah, sure, Mom, totally. I've been looking around for her, though, and I don't see her. Keep looking, Molly. I'm so worried. Yeah, me too. But I'm sure everything's gonna be okay. I hope so. I really hope so. <laughs> Baby Kira? What... What are you, what are you doing? You put up a tent? Ew, what's that smell? A sandwich I got from the dumpster. Ew, don't eat dumpster sandwiches. What's going on? Baby Kira? Oh my God, we found her. Baby Kira, you have to come home. I'm never gonna come. I don't want you. I stay here. Why? We're your family. Don't you love us? You don't love me. Baby Kira, that's not true. We love you more than anything. Why would you say that? Yeah, baby Kira, why would you say that? Cause, cause you guys are big girls said die, die. Oh, you're not a big girl? No, you're not, but you know what? Daisy and I were little girls like you once. You were? Yeah, we were, huh, Daisy? Yeah, we were toddlers and we pooped our pants and all sorts of stuff. Oh, <laughs> we didn't have to tell her that detail. You did, you wore diapers and you were big girls? Of course we weren't big girls. <laughs> you don't just come out this way. I mean, you have to grow. Pretty soon, you'll grow up too. Really? Dad, can you big good stuff? Of course you can, Baby Kira. It's only a matter of time before you grow up. Yeah, Baby Kira. And then you'll be able to do all the big good stuff just like us. Whoa, Freddy, how long? Um, just a few more years. Then you'll be a big girl. But you should enjoy being a toddler right now because... It's pretty amazing to be a baby. You get lots of snuggles from mom. You get bottles. You get someone to change your diaper. Oh. Molly! Seems like I need someone to change my diaper. <laughs> Ew, dinky. <laughs> so will you come home with us? Yeah, I miss you guys. Oh, we missed you too, baby Kira. No more running away. Yeah, no more running away. I be good someday. That's right, someday you're gonna be a big girl. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. It's me, Daisy. And today, guys, we have 100 hacks and secrets in Brookhaven to show you guys. And this first one is like so crazy. You see, I almost didn't want to tell you about it because I felt like you might not want to do it. Why? Are we gonna get in trouble in Roblox? 
Well, um, so every time I tested this hack before we started making this video, I kept getting disconnected from the game. I think it might actually ban us. What? Ban us? Are you crazy? Maddie, do you think we should do this? I don't know. Guys, I'm doing this. I want to show you guys um, what's going to happen when we keep doing this hack and we get disconnected. Because I don't even know myself. So the first thing we need to do is go down and get this new, like, government science lab thing. Wait, what? A new science lab? <gasps> Ooh. Daisy, this has been around for a little bit now. Have you just been doing homework, like, with your entire life? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm drooling over this science lab. Look at it. <gasps> Big goals for my adulthood. <laughs> Guys, next I'm going to spawn this adorable little car right here. And get in, Daisy. Buddy, I can't get in. There's a baby there. Oh, well, I guess you're going to have to run in the back. But, but, okay, fine. Hey, baby safety comes first. Well, then you should definitely not be driving. Hey, I don't think I'm that bad of a driver. Look at me. Yeah, look at you running into the wall. Good thing that there's not actual, like, military people guarding us. You'd be kicked out in no time. Molly, this is taking forever. Let me drive. Party. Okay, my sister wants to drive because she thinks I'm a bad driver. And, well, she may have a little bit of a point. <laughs> Just a little one. Molly, climb on the back. Okay, I did. Wow, Daisy, you're really making me look bad with driving through those doors on the first try. Well, I'm an awesome driver. I have to be. My son is in here. Oh, very funny. All right, guys. So now what you want to do is um go into the surgical testing room. Guys, look at this in here. This is crazy. If you touch this, like these buttons, look at all this crazy stuff it does. But we're looking for one that we definitely want to use. And that is this giant like water water tornado guys you can swim all the way up look at this oh <laughs> look at this oh my god that's so cool all right guys so what i want to do is float my little purple car well i'm sw look at i was swimming like outside of it that was weird all right i want to float my purple car in this water but every time i've tried it the game has disconnected me so i don't know what's gonna happen we better not get banned, Molly. I love Brookhaven. Guys, we're going to test this for you. We don't know what's going to happen. All right, Daisy. Back up and floor it. Here we go, guys. Oh, my God. She's floating in the water. What? We got disconnected again? OMG, Molly. This is definitely a hack that Brookhaven does not want you to do. Uh, Yeah, but it was cool. We floated our car in the water. That was amazing. I know, but if it's disconnecting you every time, it's a bad idea, Molly. Don't click reconnect. I'm clicking reconnect because, guys, I want to see what happens if you do this a bunch of times. All right, guys, here's the second try. We're back down into the science lab here with our car. It only took Daisy like five tries to get down here. What? Okay, yeah, it did. It's kind of a tight space. All right, so she's going to try it from this angle now, and we're going to see if we get disconnected again. Molly, I, I don't think we should do it. I I think we should do it a third time because I'm feeling like it's just going to disconnect us. It's not going to actually ban us or anything. This time, when Daisy floats the car in the water, she's going to jump out and try swimming. And we're going to see if the car <laughs> still stays up there and if we get disconnected. Okay, Molly, here goes nothing. All right, guys. Daisy, did you get out? Oh, my God. Daisy got out. And that time we didn't get disconnected. Whoa. Oh, wait, Molly, let's try it again. I don't think you can swim, like, swim in it, though. Once you jump out, the car just falls. Yeah, I think so, Molly, but let's try to float the car for at least five seconds. Yeah, let's do this. It does nothing. Okay, that floated it not in the water. Let's just, like, float it in the water. I'm trying, Miss Peaky. It's not like this is the easiest hack in the world. It's a very small space to drive your car around in, Molly. Can you imagine if this was real life and you were, like, ruining your car to float it in the water? That'd be a very bad idea. All right, guys. I kind of want to see what it looks like from above when she floats the car. So I'm just going to go up here and we can take a look and see. Okay, guys? 
All right, Daisy, we're ready when you are. Let's see if we can see Daisy. Okay, Daisy, I don't really see you. Yeah, um, no, you do, Molly, you do. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, I was sort of like swimming up there. Oh man, now you're stuck, aren't you, Daisy? Um, nope, I'm not stuck, I'm just floating. Ah! Molly, they really do not want you to do this hack in Brookhaven. We should stop now, before someone bans us. Bench man, -la 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 lamb. I'm doing it again, and I'm gonna see if I can float the car for five seconds or longer. This time I'm gonna ride in the back. Here we go, guys, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, it glitched me up into the ceiling. All right, let's try again. Oh my God, guys, that is so cool. I cannot believe this. This is amazing. We're like floating in the water. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wait. What? Molly, it says we've been banned for 24 hours. Wait, no, this can't be right. We're Roblox video stars. I don't think they care, Molly. It says we've been banned. Oh, M-G. That's so cool. And also, not so cool. Guys, I can't believe we actually found a hack that would get us banned in Brookhaven. Make sure you watch these next videos to watch 99 other hacks and secrets we found in Roblox. All right, guys. I guess we'll see you in 24 hours. Yeah, I guess you gotta do your homework, Molly. Not a chance! Laura, you, you shouldn't be walking. You're about to have a baby, sit down. Dan, I feel fine. It's your first baby. You, you don't know what it's like yet. Oh my gosh, my husband is panicking. Ouch! What? What? What's happening? Just a contraction. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, nobody's here. It looks like they're all over there having a rock concert. Honey, just take me to the maternity ward. Everything will be fine. Okay. Uh, I think we should wait for a doctor there at registration. Nah, nonsense. We'll go straight to maternity and everything will be fine. A few hours later. Um, Dan? I think you forgot the person who's pregnant down on the first floor. Ugh, he was so trying to find the maternity ward that he forgot me on the first floor. I guess I'm walking. Oh, there you are, honey. Where you been? I, uh, you accidentally took that turn too quick and I fell out of the wheelchair and then you left me on the first floor. Oh man, that's not good. That's not good at all. Honey, I don't need an ultrasound. I just need to go to the room. Okay. Uh, uh, the labor room or like the regular operating room? No, I'm not having an operation. Okay, I'll just walk there. Ouch! Ow! Oh. Honey, are you gonna be okay? Maybe you need a doctor. No, I think I'm okay. I hope. Oh. It sounds like someone next door is also having a baby. Well, this is the maternity ward. Oh, that sounds so familiar. Oh, I need a sandwich. Is that Dora? Honey, I, I don't think you should be getting out of bed. Honey? D Dora? What are you doing in the maternity ward? What do you think I'm doing, Laura? I'm about to have a baby. What? Dora, you're pregnant? Yes, and I'm also your twin. Surprise! Well, I knew you were my twin, Dora. I know, but <laughs> I'm your twin and I'm about to have a baby. What? You've been pregnant for nine months and you didn't tell me as your twin sister? Oh boy, there's gonna be a sister fight. Well, I flew into town to tell you, but then this baby decided to come. Well, but why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, it's not really something you tell somebody over the phone, Laura. And I wanted to tell you in person, but I was too busy with my acting career. Which is over now because I'm too busy having baby! Uh, Dora, it's gonna be okay. Just take a deep breath. How are you so calm? I took some yoga and maternity classes. Here, do you want my sandwich? Yes, I want your sandwich! I'm just gonna take one bite out of it and... Ew, Laura! You're offering me a sandwich you took a bite out of? No correction. Two bites. Oh, the baby didn't like that ham and cheese sandwich. Oh. Oh, man. The gas with this baby. Uh. Dora, it really is stressing me out that you didn't tell me you were going to have a baby. Well, I guess our babies can be best friends now. 
But how can you not tell your only sister? <laughs> Laura? Laura! Doctor! Doctor, my sister, she fainted! Okay, um, oh, I should have gotten a haircut before my shift. I can't see anything. Oh my gosh, now she looks like she's having a spasm. Help her. Okay, um, well, clearly she's pregnant, so I should probably be very careful. Dr. Dave, what are you going to do? I'm going to take her to the operating room immediately. We have to take the baby out. Why are you carrying her on your back? There's a shortage of stretchers. Don't worry, I'll take good care of your twin. You better. Okay. I'm going to deliver your baby. Oh, God, I dropped you on the floor. I'm so sorry. Okay, just try to get in the bed. There you go. Okay. Oh, let's give her some medication now. Nurse, where are you going, nurse? I need some assistance here. Okay, I guess I'm delivering this baby all by myself. You know, whatever. All right, surgery starting at 12.02. Wait, is it raining in here? There's a leak in the operating room. All right, um, all right, the lights just went out. Must be there's a huge storm outside. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We still have to deliver this baby. The baby's about to make her appearance in three, two, one. Oh my God, I did it. I delivered a baby. OMG, oh, all those Fs I got in college. <laughs> those professors wouldn't be laughing now. Where am I? What's going on? Everything's gonna be okay. You had your baby. What? I did? Well, I actually took the baby out in the operating room because I had to, but here's your adorable little bundle of joy. Oh my gosh. Now, if you excuse me, I have to deliver this baby to your sister in the room next door. What? My sister had her baby too? Yep, and I'm just about to take the baby in after weighing it, checking it. She had a baby boy. And you had a baby girl. Oh, MG, I want to see my husband now, please. Oh my gosh, honey. The baby is so beautiful. I know, right? Hi, little Molly. Hi. Okay, I want to go see my sister. Honey, I don't think that's a good idea. You just had a baby and you had an operation. I know, but I have to go check on Dora and meet my new little nephew and have her meet her new niece. Okay, I'll film everything, but take it easy, honey, seriously. Dora? Hi, Laura. <laughs> meet Lucas. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. This is Molly. Hi, Molly, you're so cute. Dora, I can't believe we're moms at the same exact time. Me either, Laura, me either. I'm thinking that maybe I could just stay in Brookhaven and live here. I love that idea. We could be moms together, side by side. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, Molly. It's okay. We're just going to go for a walk. It's a beautiful autumn day. It sure is. Ah, but Lucas kept me up all night last night. I'm so tired. Maybe we could stop at Starbucks and get like something to drink. Yeah, me too. Molly woke up with three poopy diapers in the night. Being a mom is really hard, isn't it, Dora? It sure is, Laura. But I'm glad that we're sisters and we're going through it together. Besides, being a mom is amazing. <coughs> Molly, it's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Lucas, seriously, just let mommy go get a coffee, please. <laughs> Don't worry, Dora. I can hold Lucas while you're getting your coffee. Really? That'd be so nice of you, Laura. Shh, 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 shh. Sweet little babies. Laura, do you think that they'll be best friends someday? They're going to be cousins. They're going to love hanging out together. Look at them. They already stopped crying because they're together. Oh, they are super cute. Friends for life, right? That's right, Dora. They'll be friends for life. <laughs>
Oh, she's not in the bunk beds, which makes sense because she's so little. I, I don't think she could climb up there. I'm sure she's somewhere, Mom. Hmm, what's for breakfast? I want a bottle. You have to wait, Molly. I have to find Brookie Cookie. Whoa! Ow! I fell down the stairs! Oh, are you okay? Come here. It's okay. Come on. I'll help you down the stairs. I did it, but I don't want my me! Oh, that's right. I forgot Daisy. Okay. I gotta go back and get Daisy. You stay here, Molly. Okay! La la la, I want a bottle. Da -de 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 -de. on the couch. Wee! <laughs> Ah, wee! So much fun! So much fun! Wee! Da -da 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 -ba -ba. Ow! 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 Okay, try again! Da -da 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 -ba -da -da -ba. Molly, you're not supposed to be jumping on the couch! Get down from there right this instant! Wee! It's fun! No, you're gonna fall and get a bonk on your head! Remember last time! Ah! Da -da 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 -ba -ba. It's okay! Let's go camping! Yeah! Da -da -da -ba -ba. Camping? No, we're not going camping. We have to find Brookie Cookie. Hi, <laughs> in here, Mom, in here. <laughs> Brookie Cookie sleeping in the dog bed. Oh, da -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. Good morning. Good morning, Brookie. Oh, she's so cute, isn't she? Sleeping in the dog bed. What? Brookie Cookie? Oh my gosh, how'd you end up in the dog bed? Well, Daisy was hogging the crib, so I came down here and did it with the papa. Whee! I'm gonna get in the dog bath! Molly, don't get in the. Oh, okay, whatever. Does this mean I still have to give you a regular bath if you took a bath in the dog bath? Nope, I'm all clean. <laughs> now, what's for breakfast? Yeah, I'm starving. Where's Daisy now? Daisy! I'm right here, sheesh. Open your eyes. I can't. I'm still tired. Ooh, toast. That looks good. Maybe I can make a breakfast sandwich. Let's see what I've got. Oh, yeah. Mm. How about some nice fruit for breakfast? No. I'm eating an egg and tomato sandwich. Oh, brother Miley. That really sounds disgusting. It's really good. You should try it. No, fix. I think I'll just have something normal. Egg and tomatoes and ew. It's very good. Uh, I think I'll try it. I don't know, but I'm hungry. <laughs> we don't have to cry about it. What are you, a baby? Yeah, I am a baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Morning routines with three babies. What was I thinking? Don't lie, Mom. You love us all. Of course I love you all, but seriously, three babies. Molly, what are you doing? I'm riding on your shoulders. Giddy up, horsey! Molly, we're not playing horse right now. We have to make sure everyone's had their breakfast. <coughs> and then will you change my diaper? Ew! No one wants to change your stinky diaper! Molly, I'm a baby. You have to change my diaper. No, I don't have to change it! Yeah, but Mom does. <coughs> Okay, girls. Okay. Um, why don't you guys line up and I'll change each of your diapers. No, I'm a big girl now. I'll use the potty. Yeah, wait, Molly. That's what you said yesterday before you poopy on the floor. I did not. Take that back. Rude. Closing the door. Whoa. That potty looks really big. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I, I might get flushed. I think this might be a bad idea. Molly, are you okay in there? Um, yeah. Oh, I need a shower. Getting in the tub, the tub, the tub. Ah, much better. Molly, I'm so glad that you think you're a big girl now, but you should wait until I can be in there to give you a bath. Uh-huh, sure. Why is she taking a bath by herself? Um, yep, and I'm totally clean. Wow, Molly, you really are getting to be a big girl. You did it all by yourself? Yep. Well, there's still some soap in your hair. Okay, fine. I'll go wash it out. <laughs> do you need some help, Molly? No, I can do it. I'm a big girl now. Oh, you're such a big girl. You still talk in baby talk. Okay, well, I can't help it, okay? I'm still sort of a baby, but I can do a lot of things on my own. 
Okay, well, would you like to go to preschool? Um, no. Molly, preschool's gonna be fun. Come on. I don't wanna go to preschool. I don't wanna do it. I'm not going. Molly, we all have to go to preschool. It's good for us. I don't wanna go. I'm gonna stay here and watch TV. Well, too bad. <laughs> I'm hungry again. I'm hungry. Daisy, you just had breakfast. What are you talking about? You're hungry. Yeah, Piggy. What, what are you eating? I'm eating a s'more. What? How come you got a s'more for breakfast? I didn't get a s'more for breakfast. <laughs> oh, my goodness, girls. Come on. It's time for school. Fine, but I'm still mad I didn't get a s'more. And I pooped my pants. Oh, I need a vacation. Okay, here we are. Right at preschool. I don't feel so good. Me evil. Me either. Oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh, my gosh. All of my babies are sick. Watch out. Everybody in town, watch out. Emergency. Emergency. I don't feel so good. Everybody watch out. Don't hit me with your car. Oh, my gosh. Take my babies to the hospital. You poor things. Hello, what can I do for you today? Wait, you can't go in there. Yes, this is an emergency. 911. Hello, what can I do for you? Oh, my gosh. Three sick babies. Holy guacamole. Please make them better. I go first. I don't feel good. Oh, it's nice to see you, Molly. Would you like me to heal your whole family? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Hart. Okay, girls, are you ready to go to preschool? Wait a minute. I was sick. I don't have to go to school. <laughs> no, you still have to go to preschool. What? No, I should get a sick day. <laughs> Oh, Molly, quit crying about it. I can't help it. I'm a baby. I cry for no reason. <laughs> oh, brother, how'd I get stuck with her as a sister? Hey, you're mean. Okay, girls, here's your preschool. Wow, it's like pandemonium in here. There's eggs and people and... I just want to sit down in my seat. Go ahead, Molly, have a seat. I can't fit. I'm too tiny. Wouldn't that mean you were too fat if you couldn't fit? I don't know. That's why I'm in school. Wow, I feel so much smarter already. I did it by that by bye. Don't feel smarter yet. Well, Daisy, uh, keep trying. School's almost over. Then we could go to the park. Yeah, the park! Woohoo! Like a very long recess. That would be great. Yes, I finished school! And that completes our morning routine. When will mom get you? I don't know. I kind of wore her out this morning. She might be on vacation. <laughs> yeah, right. Like moms ever get vacations. <laughs> In this Brookhaven mini movie, Molly and Daisy live the rich life. They've got a hundred thousand dollar sports cars, a mansion, and tons of money. But when they get in a car crash and can't remember who they are, things get really crazy. They are adopted by poor parents who teach them what it's like to live without money. But will Molly and Daisy remember they are rich and leave their poor parents behind? Watch to the end of this video to find out. Hey guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment below this video. We read all of your comments, guys. Ah, this is the life. Just relaxing by my pool in my $3 million house. Where's Daisy? She's supposed to be bringing me lunch. How rude. She knows that I eat every day at 12 o'clock. Hey, Molly, what's up? I just got done with my Pilates class. That's nice, Daisy, but where is my lunch? Molly, what do I look like, your butler? Please, why don't you call um Stapleton and ask him for a sandwich? He's our actual butler. Can't. Mom and Dad gave him the entire week off while they're in Hawaii on business. What? We have to deal with things ourselves? Are you serious right now? Totally. Isn't that rude? I don't wait on myself. That's what Stapleton is for. Ugh, our parents are so rude sometimes. I know, right? Uh, well, I'm going to get in the pool because it's like 90 today. It is so hot. Agreed, Molly. But I'm not in my swimsuit yet, so I'll be right back. Do you want to play Marco Polo? Yeah, in a minute, Molly. 
I have to do my hair perfectly for the pool. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to look like a fashionista no matter where you are. Eh, Daisy, you took too long. Never mind. Oh, uh, let's just go for a ride in my new car that Mom and Dad got me for my 16th birthday. They better buy me a brand new car for my 16th birthday. You already have a car. I know, but Molly, this one is so old. Daisy... This is almost a brand new sports car. Yeah, and I deserve a new one every year. Well, you do have a point. I mean, Mom and Dad can certainly afford it. Hmm, let me see. Where's my car? There's my car! Right where I left it. Um, I better go change my clothes first, though. Hurry up, Molly. If we're gonna go for a ride, I wanna get going. Fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, no. I wanna find something really cute to wear. La, 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 la. All my designer clothes are so adorable. I just have to decide which one I wanna wear. Oh, this is cute. I think I'm gonna wear this, but I'm not sure. I also have this. Nah, that looks too boring. Oh, this is perfect. I love this outfit. Plus, it's super hot, so I'm not gonna wear it. Your new sports car is amazing, Molly. But remember, don't drive too fast. Why don't you mind your own business, Daisy? Oh, boy. You can't even drive good, Molly. Oh, you're running your new car into the guardrail. It's fine, Daisy. Ugh, why do they make this bridge so narrow? How am I supposed to ever back out of here? Maybe if you paid attention in driver's ed, this wouldn't be such a big deal for you. It's not a big deal, okay? You really are the worst driver ever. Finally, maybe now we can go have some fun since you decided to get out of the driveway. All right, I'm trying my best to drive good. Well, Molly, maybe you should slow down. You're like all over the road. Molly, seriously. Okay, fine. I'll go a little bit slower. Go a lot slower, Molly. Well, I'm rich. Everybody should get out of the way of me. Well, they can't move their buildings, Molly. Cheapers creepers. No one's even out in town today. That's because it is so hot, Molly. No one wants to be out when it's 100 degrees. That's totally true. But you know what that means? We don't have to follow the 15 mile an hour speed limit. Are you serious, Molly? That seems dangerous. Nah, come on. Let's crank it up a notch. Molly, be careful! Molly! Ah! I'm pulling up on the scene now. Yes, it appears it's a car accident with two girls. Uh, be ready at the emergency room. I'll be bringing them in. Oh my gosh, this doesn't look good. Girls? Can you say anything? Girls, I'm a paramedic. I'm here to help you. Ah, where am I? I don't even know where I am right now. Oh my goodness. Everything's gonna be okay. Just just hang on. Ah, I don't feel so good. What happened to me? Uh, am, am I at the back of an ambulance? I don't even know what just happened. Oh, I feel so strange. <sighs> What's going on? Why are we riding somewhere? I don't know. Molly, I'm scared. I'm scared too, Daisy. Something really awful happened to us. I know. My head really hurts. Mine does too. And my arms and legs hurt too. Don't worry about a thing. I'm here to help you. And the doctor will take good care of you, okay? What happened to me? I, I don't know what happened. You were in a car accident. Wait, what? I know, it's a little scary, but it looks like you're going to be okay. Can my sister be in the same room with me? Sure, I'll leave you on the stretcher and I'll put your sister over here, okay? Yeah, well, that sounds good. Huh. This is crazy. I can't believe I was in a car accident. I'm coming, yes. I, I know they were in an accident. Yeah, we're prepared here at the hospital. Are they talking about me? Oh, this is scary. Hi there, I'm Dr. Smith. A paramedic tells me that she came on scene and found you laying by your car. It appears you were in a very bad accident. Yeah, she told me that. I have a really bad headache. Oh my gosh. Well, let me take a look in your eyes and make sure everything looks okay. I'm here with the sister. She says her name is Daisy. She thinks. Daisy? Molly, I, I can't see anything. It's like everything is black. Um, Daisy, that's because your eyes are closed. Oh, yeah, that sort of makes sense. Both of you girls were in a very serious car accident. I'm gonna need an x-ray of both of your brains. My brain? Why did it fall out? Uh, not that I know of. I mean, since you're still talking and everything, it should still be inside your head, but there could be damage. Damage to my brain? Oh, my God. I might turn into a zombie. Follow me. Can you push your own wheelchair? Yeah, I'm okay. Where do I go? Take a left and go right into the x-ray. 
Okay, I I'm in here. Okay, now what I need you to do is go inside the machine and we're gonna do a quick x-ray of your brain. Now, can you tell me what your name is? Yeah, it's Molly. Okay, can you tell me what your sister's name is? Uh, of course, her name is, wait, what's her name again? Oh yeah, Daisy. Um, can you tell me where you live? Uh, what? Why don't I know where I live? Oh my gosh, it's exactly as I suspected. Your brain does have have some damage. What? Damage to my brain? Are you serious? I'm afraid so, Molly. Can you tell me who your parents are? What their phone numbers are? Wait, I have parents? I don't have parents. It's just me and Daisy. I'm sure you have parents. No, I don't think so. Wait a minute, maybe I do have parents. Why can I not remember my address or my parents or anything? Anything that's happened to me other than my sister Daisy? It's called amnesia. It's when you get a bonk on your head and you really can't remember anything. A lot of times people have something that jars their memory though. So eventually your memories will come back. It's just, there's no telling when. But I don't even know where I live. <sighs> well, let's ask your sister. Maybe she knows. Okay, will my brain ever heal? Oh yes, your brain is healthy, so it should heal. Just no telling how long the amnesia will last. We need to get you in a bed relaxing. Okay. Hi, Daisy. I'm Dr. Smith. Hi, Dr. Smith. My head really hurts. I bet it does. You and your sister Molly took quite a bonk when you came out of the car. Were you guys wearing your seatbelts? Of course we were. That's just silly. Well, apparently, your car, well, it was not a very good one. Are you kidding? Did you see that car? It's a sports car. It's worth $150,000. Well, the seatbelts didn't seem very safe, so since you were ejected from the car. Now, I have some short questions to ask you. Do you know where you live? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait a minute. No, I don't know where I live. Why don't I know where I live? Um, it's as I expected. You may have amnesia just like your sister. We'll have to take an x-ray to be sure. Do you know who your parents are? Uh, no, I don't remember anything except for the fact that Molly's my sister. Okay, well, let's get that x-ray. Why can't I remember anything? What's wrong with me? I can't remember anything. As I told you before, Molly, you have amnesia. Okay, well, I can actually remember that. I just don't like the answer. Uh, it's it's very common with head injuries. Well, not very common, but when you get a head in injury like you've had, it's pretty common. Oh, wow. This is the worst day of my life. I've heard that a lot. Why did you want to be a doctor if you have to hear that all the time? I ask myself that sometimes too, but the answer is, is I like helping people. And today, since I can't find anything else wrong with you and your sister, I'm going to be releasing you to the adoption center. What? The adoption center? Why? I'm sure we have a family. Well, since I can't get any contact information for you guys, it's just a temporary place for you to live until your parents find you and come forward for you. What if they never come forward for us? They will. All parents miss their kids, don't they? Yeah, I guess you're right. Now I want you to take it easy. No swimming or running around too much. We have to let your brain heal. Yeah, I can't believe my brain is just broken right now. Not really broken, just needing rest and some healing. Now, you and your sisters take good care of yourself. Okay, can't believe I'm going to the adoption center. Crazy. Dizzy, can you believe this? The doctor says I have amnesia. Funny thing is, Molly, the doctor says I have amnesia too. Well, where do you think this adoption center is? I don't know, Molly, I'll Google it. I didn't even know this town. What is this? The doctor told me it's called Brookhaven. I think that's what he said. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get directions now. Okay, follow me, Molly. Good thing we remember each other, Daisy. We'd really be alone in the world. I know, Molly. That would be so sad if we couldn't remember each other. Well, at least we have each other. Ow! I ran into the window! The doctor said that's normal. Your balance will be off for a while. Well, here it is, the adoption center. Better get comfy until our memories come back. This place is kind of gross. Yeah, why are we even staying here? This place isn't nice at all. Like, they have two toys and one bed, and it's for babies. Seriously, where am I supposed to sleep? I would prefer a five-star hotel. This upstairs has nowhere to sleep at all. This is terrible. Well, at least we have the internet. What are you Googling? Well, as soon as this ridiculously slow, cheap computer gets moving, I'm uh, Googling how long kids usually stay in adoption centers, because this place is totally not my style. Um, what's it say? Six years? Are you kidding me? No way. Well, maybe we'll remember who we are. Uh, 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 look up on Google how long it takes for, for someone to come out of amnesia. Sure, sure thing. Amnesia can last from months to years to forever. What? 
I'm not staying here forever. What are you, crazy? That's it, Daisy. We have no choice but to find some new parents. What about our old parents? Uh, I don't know who they even are. So I think we should take our chances getting adopted. You're probably right, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're finally adopting, Dan. I know. I just hope we can afford to feed them and everything. Of course we will. Um, with my three jobs and your four jobs, we should be fine. Besides, we're a family. We'll stick together. Yeah, you're right. We do all right. We always have a roof over our heads and food in our bellies. And we have love. That's all you really need. Exactly. Molly, incoming. Look, there's some parents. Ooh, potential parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Ooh, Molly, she's wearing some ripped clothes. Daisy, so aren't you. That's like in fashion now. Yeah, true. She's probably very in fashion. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, actually, no, I've had these pants for like 20 years. <laughs> They're just very comfortable. And well, I can't necessarily afford a lot of new clothes. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I think I used to go shopping all the time based upon the outfit I'm wearing. Me too. Something tells me, well, we're just awesomely fashionable yeah exactly daisy oh you guys are so cute so um are you guys up for adoption uh yeah just today really what happened to your last parents uh you know it's a long story but we definitely need parents okay well i'm laura and i'm dan we're really nice people and we were wondering would you like us to adopt you absolutely let's get out of here have you seen this place there's cobwebs there's only one bed well it looks pretty nice to me it's terrible Oh, this place is terrible. Let's go. Wait, is this your car? Surely this can't be your car. Yup, I've had it since I was 16. I do all the maintenance on it myself. Oh, so it's a vintage car. I guess that's pretty cool. Come on, Daisy. Molly, I forgot my purse. Duh. Okay, show us our new mansion. I bet it's got 10 bedrooms for us to choose from. And 70 bathrooms. Molly, that's just ridiculous. But you're probably right. These people are probably awesome. Have tons of money and a huge mansion. Oh, man. The car's not working right. Uh, I thought you said you fixed it. This isn't a very good vintage car. Well, it's the only car we have. It'll be okay, Dan. Just put some more gas in it. I think the gas is leaking out. Oh, like I can afford to put gas gas in just for it to leak out onto the ground. I think they're pranking us right now, Molly. I don't think they're actually this poor. Yeah, well, I think that they're just trying to not spoil us. They'll learn real quick that we are spoiled. Exactly. Okay, we're off. Oh, look, a food truck. <laughs> How cool. Are we stopping for like a hamburger or something? Uh, no, this, this is our house. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious, Dad. <laughs> So, how many of these food trucks do you own? How much does it make you a month? Uh, I, I don't own any food trucks. I'm a busboy at the restaurant. Well, that's one of my jobs. And I'm a waitress at the restaurant. Um, okay, but seriously? You live in here? Yeah, it's really nice when you go inside. It's a simple life, but we like it and we can afford it. Um, I'm not staying here. Uh, no, wait. Um, you need to buy us a mansion because this house is not where I'm going to live. But we can't afford a mansion. We can only afford this. Well, let's just go inside. Maybe it's like a mansion inside. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely not. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of cool. Where's this go? Ah, uh, I can't climb the ladder. Ah, uh, uh, why can't I climb the ladder? Because, Marty, you've never climbed a ladder before, so you can't even figure it out. Oh my gosh, you're right. Um, so this is it? We're... Where's the bedroom? I think that's the bedroom, Molly. We don't have to share a bed, do we? Yeah, we have to share a room, too, by the looks. The couch bowl's out, so your mom and I'll stay there, and you girls can have the bedroom. This isn't a bedroom! It doesn't have four walls and a door! Well, uh, I could build one maybe next weekend when I can afford the supplies. Ah! This is my worst nightmare! I can't live here! Molly, I, I think we might have been rich before we had amnesia. I think you're right! I think this is gonna be, like, horrible! I'm not staying here! Oh, I'm really sorry we don't have a lot of money, but we promise to be kind to you and love you. We always have food and the roof doesn't leak. Well, if the roof doesn't leak, it must be great. Um, what would you guys like for dinner? I'm really good at cooking and cleaning up. That's my job. Yeah, I know. You're a busboy, I remember. Maybe they have some Evian water. I'm so thirsty. What? Reese's and Coca-Cola? This stuff is horrible for you. Mm, I'm so hungry, I kind of don't care. Mm. Mighty pizza? Yuck. All we eat is caviar. Oh, I could never afford that. Besides, caviar is disgusting. She kind of has a point, Daisy. This pizza is delicious. Really, Mighty Pizza? Try it for yourself. Oh, that's from Uncle Tony's down in the plaza. He makes the 
best pizza ever. Hmm. This isn't so bad. Ha! <sighs> Seriously, Molly? You've forgotten who you are already. No, not already. I've forgotten who I was since the accident. So I'm just trying to blend in. Hmm. This is delicious. Well, my head hurts. Oh, honey, are you okay? Yeah, Mom, I think I'll be okay, but I just need to, like, kick back and relax. Sure, um, maybe I could turn on something funny on the computer. Wait, where's the TV? Um, well, we could turn on the TV, but I only get a couple of channels because I don't have cable. You don't have cable? Okay, fine, let's see what's on. I surely cannot stay here. This is going to be terrible. Hey, Daisy, you want a cheeseburger? No, I want to get out of here, but the door is broken. Fine. Okay, the door finally opened. Daisy! Daisy! I can't believe this is my life. I was adopted by poor people. <laughs> Daisy, seriously, they seem really nice. And they also seem to really care about us. Who cares if we live in this thing? Molly, it's literally a tin can! I know, Daisy, but it's our tin can. With two parents who really care about us. Well, okay. I guess we can make the best of it. Great! Come on in! Girls, is everything okay? Yeah, girls, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom and Dad. We're sorry we were acting like brats, but I think we're used to more of a witch lifestyle. But we know that you care about us so much, so we're gonna try our best to be good. That's the spirit. We do care about you girls so much. Now, who wants a family game night? I do! I do! Okay, um, I have to go down to the library and borrow the game. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll help you, Dan. You girls get settled in, okay? And we'll come back with, like, five games for game night. You guys don't own your own games? No, we borrow them from the library. Be back in about ten minutes. Okay! Daisy, this place is really starting to grow on me. I know what you mean, Molly. Our parents are really nice. They totally are. Who's honking their horn out front? Oh, my gosh. Mom? Dad? Oh, my gosh. My, my memories come back. Mine, too. And we're, we're rich! Oh my gosh, we're totally rich! Hey, Mom, hey, Dad. What is going on here? Ugh, why do you smell like pizza? Um, because I ate pizza. Molly, everyone knows that all we eat is caviar. So much better for you. Well, that and organic vegetables only. But this had pepperoni on it. It was delicious. What's this crazy talk? Now, what happened? They told us you got in an accident and you were at the adoption center, but then the address for you was this food truck? Maybe that's why she smells like pizza, dear. I don't know, but she needs a shower as soon as we get home. No, uh, these nice people adopted us. Well, <laughs> that's ridiculous. We're your parents. Now get in the limo. It's time to go home. Yeah, you're probably right. Come on, Daisy. Um, and since you wrecked your car, we'll stop and get you a new one on the way home. Okay, can I get a red one this time? Yeah, but we're only spending 150,000, not 175. But what if the red is 175? Okay, then, yeah, you can totally have it. Let's go, everybody. Everybody in? I'm coming, Jeepers. I forgot my puss. I still have a little bit of amnesia, I guess. See you later, weird food truck. You know, I know that I'm rich and everything, Mom, but our new parents who are poor are kind of nice. I'm sure they were honey, but come on, we have to go home. Tomorrow, Dad and I have to pack for our trip to Brazil. Are we going? No, you guys are staying home, unfortunately. Another business trip. Oh, man. Turn around! Why? Why? Ah, 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 I forgot something back in the house! T -t -t Turn around! Okay, fine, but it better be a million dollars if you want me to go back to that place. It stunk so bad. I think I saw a cockroach. It wasn't a cockroach there, Dad. Okay, let's go back. Try to get all your stuff, though. I don't ever want to drive down that street again. Make it quick, Molly. Okay, I'll make it super quick. I think. Mom! Dad! Oh, hey, Molly. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, what, what are you doing here? Um, I came back to tell you something. Oh, um, I'm glad your parents came back for you. Me too, even though we're really sad that you guys can't be our daughters. Look, you guys are so nice. You're like the nicest people ever. I'm thankful that I had this time with you. It's taught me a lot, and I want you to have this. A, a million dollars? Are you serious? Yeah, it's... Just a little bit of something to help you. Oh my gosh, that money could change our life. Yeah, but we're not interested in your money. Wait, what? But you guys, it'll change your life. We know, but we weren't in this for the money. Wait a minute, you knew that we were rich? I had a feeling, but I don't care about money. I just care about the people that I love. And I'm sad that you guys can't be a part of our family. Well, but you really don't want the money? Well, your money's not everything. Okay, yeah, but it buys you some really cool clothes and, and shoes and, and, and a car. That actually runs. Yeah, those are all true, but we didn't care about you just because you have money. Oh. All we have is one request. Yeah, Molly, just one. What is it? Name it. We really wish that you and Daisy would come visit us sometimes. Really? 
We'd love to. Great. That makes us so happy because we're really going to miss you girls. Yeah, we can stop by like every Saturday if you want. We could have game night. That sounds like a great idea. Okay, well, see you later, second mom and dad. See you later, Molly. Make sure you get good grades and behave in school. Oh, dear. You're still talking like you're her dad. I am her second dad. <laughs> Bye, second mom. Bye, second dad. Bye. Uh, Dad, the door won't open again. Oh, man. Add that to my fix-it list. Whoa, Marty! Why are you so miserable? Because I don't like being poor! Well, Marty, why? What happened? Well, I... I, I accidentally kicked my soccer ball into the lake and mom said it's too cold to go get it because we'd like freeze to death if we got in the water right now because it's winter. And I said, okay, well, can we go to Walmart and get me a new soccer ball? And she said, no, we don't have the money for that this week. Daisy, I can't practice soccer for the entire week or maybe two. Well, Molly, when you save up your allowance, you could get a new one. But soccer tryouts are in two weeks. How am I going to be, how am I going to be ready? Well, I'm sorry, Molly, but that's the way the cookie cu cookie crumbles. The cookie doesn't crumble that way for everybody. I mean, look at Princess Megan. The cookie doesn't crumble for her at all. She just gets to eat all the cookies. No crumbling! Well, Molly, we're not princesses, so it's just the way that it is. I wish I was a princess. I want to have all the cookies and all the soccer balls and, and everything. I want to live in a palace. I want my life to be different. Well, Molly... You just never know what it's actually like to be a princess. I bet it's amazing. Oh, Daddy! Hi, Daddy! Oh, good morning, Megan. How are you today? I'm good. What are you doing, Dad? Just doing some king work. Oh, it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Dad, since we're so rich, I was wondering, um, could I buy the new Louis Vuitton purse? Oh, sure, honey. Um, how much money do you need? It's $10,000. Totally limited edition, though. Totally worth it, Dad. There's only like two or three going to be made. $10,000 for a purse? Dad, you're the king. You can afford anything. Please, Daddy. Please, please, please. Okay, but no more treats this week. You'll have to wait till next week before you buy anything else. All right, let me just go into the royal vault and get you the money. Oh, Daddy! Thank you! Thank you! Okay, I've just got to go over here and click the candlestick. No one can know this secret in Brookhaven. All of the royal wealth is in here. Here you go, sweetie. $10,000 for your new Louis Vuitton purse. Very limited edition. Daddy, you're the best. Thank you. Two hours later. La, 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 la. Oh, Daddy, there you are. Where else would I be? I'm either working on the, the entire town's finances or sitting on the throne as a king should. <laughs> Playing this game. Of Roblox. Have you heard of it? Oh, yeah, Dad. Everybody's heard of Roblox. So, Daddy! Oh, was that your $10,000 Louis Vuitton? Yeah, it sure is. Oh, it's very, very nice. This old thing? Pff, whatever. It's not that great. Uh, uh, honey, that old thing. You just bought it two hours ago. Yeah, and it's so last season or last two hours ago. I don't know, but it's old. I need something else new. I just saw that they came out with a new Ferrari. Megan, I told you no more treats until next week. Besides, that car's probably $250,000. But daddy, I want it. Oh no, don't give me that face. You look so disappointed. I, I think I'm gonna cry. I feel the tears. They're gonna come down my face any minute. Oh, sweetheart, don't cry. I'll buy you the Ferrari. We can go pick it up right now. Really? Because I, I still feel a tear. It's squeezing out of my eyeball right now. Don't cry, sweetie. I hate to see you cry. I'll buy you the new car. Just, just don't cry. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm totally fine. We're cool. We're good. Oh, good, sweetie. I don't think I spoil my daughter. I mean, right? I, I don't spoil her too bad. <laughs> if you think I spoil my daughter, slam the like button. I, I don't think I do, though. Oh, my gosh, Daddy, it's beautiful. But wait, why is there a baby in this Ferrari? Oh, my God, you bought me a used car. Daddy, I can't believe it. 
Oh, sorry, sweetie, but I just thought we could save a little bit of money. And I, I mean, you're a teenager. You don't need a brand new car, do you? Yes, I want a brand new one. Take this one with the baby back. Cheapers. Daddy, daddy, daddy. They're giving away. Well, they're not giving it away. They're actually selling trips to the moon. It's $1 million. And I really want to go, daddy. I mean, I'd only be gone for a couple of years. Please. I do my homework while I'm gone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hold on, sweetie pie. Daddy's on a very important call. But daddy, I'm the most important thing ever. What about my trip to the moon? Huh, daddy? Huh, huh, huh? Okay. Uh, thank you for calling. Honey, I've got to tell you something. You may want to sit down. I don't need to sit down. I'm wearing my very comfy but very expensive shoes. Well, I hate to tell you this, Megan, but that was the hospital from where you were born. What? What did they want? Did they come get that baby that was sitting in the Ferrari? I mean, cheapers. No, I took care of that already, sweetie. But they told me that when your mother was in giving birth to you, that you were actually belonging to someone else. What? Daddy, this is not funny. Oh, where's MTV? Are they here to prank me? Oh, very funny. Prank Princess Megan. No, Megan, you don't belong here. You're not actually a princess. Say what? What are you talking about? Well, you're the king. Just make me a princess. I'm sorry, but royal law is very, very, very clear on this. If you're not a princess, you have to leave the castle. This breaks my heart, Megan, but you're not my daughter. What? I don't think so! You you take that back right now, Daddy! Megan, I wish I could, but it's true. I'm not actually your dad. I, I, I really am going to cry this time! <laughs> It breaks my heart to have you leave, Megan, but I I can't be your dad anymore. I'll have your bags packed and you were gonna go live with your real parents. But daddy, this is the only life I've known. Wait a minute, are they richer? No, Megan, they're not. But, but I, oh no, this is the worst day of my life. Wait, can I take my Louis Vuitton? Um, Megan, everything that was bought was bought here and belongs to the Royal Kingdom. What? You're not taking my Louis Vuitton! Hand it over, Megan. I don't think so! It's mine! And I'm keeping the Ferrari, too! Sorry, Megan, but I'm... I'm going to have to have the Royal Guards take the Ferrari and the Louis Vuitton. It will be for the real princess. I am a real princess! Uh, sorry, dear, but come with me. What? Get your hands off of me! Frankie, you've known me since I was born! Megan, don't make this any more difficult than it needs to be. Fine! If this is a prank, though, I'm never gonna forgive you, Daddy. Not ever! What is that smell? Ooh, it smells like cow poop! What? I... This cannot be where my parents live. Well, hi there! You must be Megan. I'm your dad. What? My parents are farmers? What? I'm a princess! Not anymore, princess, but I can call you my little princess if you want. No! You will address me as your royal highness, Princess Megan! Yeah, that's it. Your mom should be coming any second. She's off milking the cows. No, no, no! I guess you'll be wanting to know where your room is and where you're going to be going to school. Well, I have a private tutor, of course. <gasps> Megan, you look just like me. Wow, my mom's actually kind of pretty, but still a cow milker! Uh-huh, we live on a farm, sweetheart. And with time, I'm sure you're going to come to love it. I don't think so. Show me to my room! Wow, we're not your servants, you're your parent. We're your parents. Well, you're my servants now because you're all I have! I can't believe this is happening to me! What's this under my eyes? It's real tears! It's real tears, not fake ones to get my dad to buy me a Ferrari. I miss him. He bought me Louis Vuitton purses and, and, well, you know, love doesn't have to mean that you buy things all the time. Love can mean, well, a lot of things besides material possessions. Well, I, I mean, if you love someone, you buy them a Louis Vuitton purse, right? No, sweetheart. If you love someone, you feel it in your heart and you show them being, by being kind and caring. But, but, my purse, my car! 
Let's just show her to her room, honey. She's obviously exhausted. Yeah, sure. Come on, Megan. We'll show you where your bedroom is. Now, we just updated the farm, so um, we think it's pretty nice. It looks like a shack! I want my castle back! Wait a minute. Someone sleeps over here? But the kitchen is in the same room as the bedroom! Oh, yeah, honey. That's your bedroom. Wait, what? I get to sleep in the kitchen? Well, it's actually a separate space, but see, we're over here, so you can say hi to us at any time. I want my million count sheets and my giant four-poster bed and my Ferrari. I'll even take it with the baby in it. Seriously, I want my life back. Megan, you have to come to terms with the fact that this is your life now, sweetheart. I'm your mom and Fred is your dad, but I don't even know you guys and I don't know this life. I want my old life back. Well, I guess now would be a good time to tell you you're also going to public school. Public school? You have to be kidding me. Sorry, sweetheart, but it's the truth. Oh, no. Daisy, I, I can't believe it. A real life princess is going to be in our class. Well, Molly, she's only coming here because she's not a princess anymore. Oh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say welcome, Princess Megan. I think Welcome Megan would be perfect, Molly. Do you think she likes giving up her princesshood? Probably not, Molly. She had a pretty swish life. I'm just glad no one in this school is going to be richer or more famous than me. I mean, I couldn't live with that. What? This is where I'm going to school? This is so basic. I don't think so. Oh, my life is terrible. Wait a minute. Someone has the Ferrari I used to own. Ugh. What? This belongs to Sarah? Who's Sarah? I'm the princess! Ugh! Oh, wow! A new episode of Brook Life! <laughs> I love this show. Ah, relaxing is the best. Huh, I wonder who that could be. I'm not expecting anybody. Molly! Molly, let me in, please! Brookie? What's wrong? Brookie? Molly, I, I, I need to come in right away. Okay, come on. What's wrong? Did you forget to do your homework? Did you get a bad grade? No, Molly, um, I need to live here. Say what? Live here? Um, I don't know about that. I mean, you're my best friend, but I'm not sure that my parents are gonna agree to that one. Molly, seriously, I could just, like, hide under your bed or something. I could take my sleeping bag under there and sleep. <laughs> Brookie, you can't do that. Y you live at your house and I live at mine. Although I have to admit, having a permanent sleepover with you would be pretty awesome. Exactly. We can make cookies all the time and we can have like homework study groups and I could always sleep in your room. It would be like one amazing sleepover party. What do you say? Huh? 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 Brookie, what's going on? I, I, I can't go back to my house. Seriously? Why? Because I've got a crazy stepmom. <laughs> crazy stepmom. I'm sure your stepmom's fine, Brookie. No, she's totally insane and mean. I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back. Brookie, seriously, calm down. It's going to be okay. Come on. I'll do what I always do when I feel stressed out. Dun, 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 dun. Here, I'm going to make you an ice cream. Seriously, you are? Uh-huh. Right after I eat mine. Molly! Sorry. Okay, I just took one, like, okay, two licks. You can have it, though. Ew! I'm not eating ice cream that you already licked. Gross! <laughs> mm, that's pretty good. Get yourself an ice cream, and we'll talk this out, Brookie. Ugh, Molly, you are sometimes a pretty crazy friend. Yeah, I know. Mmm. Molly, this ice cream really is good. Told ya! Makes you feel a lot better, right? Not really. What? Ice cream doesn't make you feel better? Okay, this is serious. What is going on? Talk to me, Brokey. Well, my mom is mean and crazy, and I just can't deal with it anymore. OMG, this sounds serious. Are you sure? Yes, Molly, I'm sure. Okay, well, if you really need to live here, I guess we can ask my mom and dad. But you have to remember to close the refrigerator or they get really mad. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> it's okay. You'll learn the family rules quick enough. Well, Molly, thank you for letting me live here. You've always been like a sister to me. 
And you've been a sister to me, Brookie. Well, besides Daisy, she's an annoying sister, though. Oh, huh, wow, I wonder who that could be. I'm not expecting anybody. Molly, don't answer it. What? Why? Because it might be my crazy stepmom. Don't be ridiculous. I'm sure it's just one of our friends or something. Molly, no! Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, are you going to let me in? Ah, it's my stepmom! And she's stuck in the door! Ugh, rude! Oh, wow. Oh, you have a scar on your face. How did you get that? Do I look like someone you can ask questions to? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, Brookie's stepmom. Her, her, her name is Sarah. Go figure. I have an evil Sarah in my life, too. What did you say? Why don't you get mopping these floors? They're disgusting and dirty. Wait a minute. You're not the boss of me. This isn't your house. It is while Brookie's here. Um, oh, oh, okay. Hey, Molly, you, you don't have to do that. She's my stepmom. You be quiet. And is that ice cream I see on your face? Um, well, uh... Yeah, she had some ice cream. I told her she could. I told you you're not allowed to eat ice cream ever again. O-M-G. This lady really is evil. Uh, okay. Well, Brookie's gonna help me go, um, mow the lawn. O okay? Mrs. Um, Sarah, stepmom lady. Brookie, come on. You better hurry up. I've got about six more tasks for you to do. Who does this lady think she is? She's coming over to my house to tell me what to do? <sighs> this is a lot of work. Molly, did you want to tell me something? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Come on, let's go. We'll run over to town. Seriously, Molly, are you sure that's a good idea? What if she follows us? She's crazy. No, she's not going to get away with this. We're going to we're gonna run away, and, and she's not going to even be able to find us. I'm good at hiding. And, well, I've got a little bit of money, so we can go, I don't know, get some food and stuff. Oh, you got a skateboard. Well, that's much faster. Come on. I'm coming, Molly. Thanks for being the best friend ever. I told you she was crazy. I mean, who goes to someone else's house and tells them they have to clean it? Um, uh, I don't know. I think she thinks she's the boss of me. And guess what, lady? You're not the boss of me. Ooh, Brookie, let's go into the Brooks Diner. They'll have some delicious snacks for us to eat while we figure this all out. Maybe we should call your mom and dad and tell them. Or the police. She seems kind of nuts. Molly, you're seriously eating again? I can't help it. I'm, I'm just always hungry. <laughs> mm. This cheeseburger's great. What do you want, Brookie? I'm just not feeling that hungry. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling really upset right now. Brookie, don't worry. I'm going to help you take care of everything. I just have to eat this cheeseburger. <sighs> I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Oh, Brookie, don't cry. It's, it's going to be okay. I promise. I'm here for you. It's just, everything is just so bad. And I, I don't know. I got such an evil. Uh, <laughs> ah! What? Who just crashed into the diner? <laughs> you think you're going to get away from me? I don't think so. Ah! It's, it's, it's crazy stepmom. With, with what? An axe? Okay. Brookie, we need to run. Where are we going to run to? There's no, there's no back exit. I'm going through the drive-thru. Molly, I don't think you can jump through the drive-thru window. Well, I just did. Okay, let's go to the airport. I've got money. We can get a plane ticket. Molly, we're going to leave town? Yep, you got it there, girl. You got it. Okay, departing flights. Let's go. Molly, hurry. I think she's chasing us. Yep, definitely chasing us. <sighs> Molly, are we, are we, are we out of here? Yeah, I think, I think we're good. Okay, let's just go sit down and relax. Where are we going, Molly? Hawaii, of course. <laughs> Where else would you go to escape from an evil stepmom? Ah, this is the life. Wow, Molly, you must really have a lot of money. I mean, holy guacamole, a private flight? Yep. Ah. <sighs> this is your captain speaking. This is your captain speaking. Whoa, we got some turbulence going on here. Turbulence? I don't like turbulence. It's freaking me out. It's okay. I'm going to go talk to the captain. <sighs> yes, I was going to make an announcement, but just come in here, please. Come into the cockpit, and I'll tell you the announcement. <laughs> huh, I never heard such an unprofessional pilot before in my life. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God, it's your evil stepmom. She's flying the plane. What are we going to do, Molly? There's nowhere to run. That's right, 
girls. Nowhere to run. Wait a minute. You, you need to be flying the plane, psycho! Sorry. <laughs> We're going down. 